everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You, and this is your ultimate guide for effort level trading in Pokemon Legends Arceus. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and uh, let's get on into this video. Pokemon Legends Arceus has introduced such an amazing way to train a Pokemon and get a lot stronger. And I'm not going to lie to you, I pretty much ignored this method the whole time in this game, not realizing how it adds a lot more extra punch to your Pokemon and makes them a lot stronger when you're going through your battles. So don't make this mistake if you're watching this video, if you're new, or if you're a current player just enjoying the game and not really progressing, this would be a great thing to do to make your OP Pokemon before transferring it into Pokemon Home or have very strong Pokemon that are ready for the rumored DLC of this game. So you'll notice as you go throughout the game, when you start beating Pokemon or defeating them or releasing them from your pastures, you're going to get these weird things called Grit Dust, Grit Pebbles, Grit Gravel, and Grit Rock. Now, this is really interesting because all these contribute to effort level training. Now, effort level training is great because unlike its predecessor, EVs, which was very annoying to train, the only way for Pokemon to get stats completely are from using these. So you can pick to use them and you can get every single Pokemon's effort level values to 10, which essentially makes Pokemon disgustingly strong. So if you have the correct nature and then have all the stats boosted up, your Pokemon is going to do a lot of damage. Now let's go over all the types of grit you get in the game. You got grit dust, which brings your effort levels to three. You got grit gravel that says it can be used only if the effort level is at least level three and no greater than level five. Then you got the next one that says it can only be used if the effort level is at least level six and no greater than level eight. And then the final one that says it can only be used if the effort level has already reached level nine. So grit rocks are basically the ones that end the cap at 10. And these grit dust are the ones that continue it all the way up to level three, then it stops. And then you have to start going to the next tier. Now, the big question is how do you acquire these in the game? So one way, oh my god, I'm fighting four Gyarados. <laughs> one way to get these is simply by fighting. You can fight Pokemon, defeat them, and they most likely will drop something for you. So I took out this Gyarados over here, which you can see drop something on the floor here. All right, and all the Gyarados are defeated. And as you can see, we have dropped four Grit Dust just by fighting these Gyarados over here. So... We add that onto the collection, so that's more Grit Dust. So with this Grit Dust, we can take these and add them onto a Pokemon level. So if I was to go ahead and use it on my Electivire, which we're battling with right now, I can bring its special defense up to level three. And you can see that after I hit level three, it's not gonna let me go any further than three. And I can raise up its HP to level three as well. And I'm gonna bring up its speed to level three. And just like that, you can see that now my Electivire is completely capped out and I can no longer use the Grit Dust that's above me right now. So I cleared out the whole Gyarados outbreak and I was getting just a bunch of Grit Dust and I finally was able to get one Grit Pebble. Pretty interesting. So it was a random drop that happened that I got Grit Pebble. So I think they are random drops with Grit Dust being the most common one. So battling Pokemon is definitely a way for you guys to get Grit. Another method of Grit farming is catching a lot of Pokemon. So. Me catching these worm pulls over here, pretty simple. Go for easy Pokemon that are, you're able to catch. You just spam all the Pokemon that you can find in an area. Easy areas, the better. There's a random Pichu here. Look at that. Hello, Pichu. Pichu's caught as well. A good way of just chaining a bunch of these guys is to stun them and keep catching. Just like this. You don't have to deal with the whole entire bait tactic. Just keep stunning and keep going with spoiled Apricorns. This game makes you catch a lot of Pokemon in order to finish a research level in a dex, get it basically to 10. So they provided a way as well that your boxes don't get filled up because who wants 100 Wormpool or 100 Magikarp taking up the whole inventory? So when you go ahead and do see your Pokemon, you get the option to release multiple. The game lets you do it. So I have a box, here's Pasture 28 with a bunch of Pokemon in it. And let me scan real quick to make sure they're not shiny, not shiny. So we gotta hit the X button and we're just gonna select all the Pokemon here, every single one. Never mind, that one was in Alpha Magikarp. I'm keeping that one. But I'm going to release all these Pokemon over here, and we're going to see exactly what we get. The Drift Blooms are very low level. The Worm Pools are also low level. The Dust Toxes are level 20. So let's see what we get. He's going to say, It seems the Pokemon you released back in the wild left a little something behind for you. So I obtained two sacks of Grit Gravel. Grit Gravel is the second tier that we're going to be using after the level 3. 
And then I'm getting seven sacks of grit dust. Grit dust is the basic one that gets your level to three. That's what I get for selling all that. Now I'm going to sell a bunch of alpha Pokemon. And don't worry, these alpha Pokemon can be caught again. I have a whole video on where to get them in the Obsidian Field Lens. But we're going to see exactly what do these alpha Pokemon give us when we release them. So it's going to go ahead and select every single alpha from this area. No worries. Just get rid of them all right here. All right. That's every. That's literally every alpha Pokemon. You know what? This Magikarp technically was also spawned here. Let's get rid of the Magikarp too. And we're going to see what alpha Pokemon can get us. All right. What do we get? So for releasing alpha Pokemon, I got 17 Grit Rocks. Grit Rocks are what's going to bring that level 9 up to level 10. And I get a, and a random Grit Pebble. <laughs> Not bad at all. So you can see that alpha Pokemon are definitely worth getting rid of or releasing in order to get the higher tier grit items. And the best part is alpha Pokemon are always farmable. All you got to do is just exit the zone, come back to a zone, and most likely the alpha Pokemon will spawn there again. Or you sleep in a camp and they spawn again. And if you watch my 10 ways to catch alpha Pokemon, you will know that there is a very OP method in that video to catch alpha Pokemon so that you can just easily just get it in about less than 10 seconds. So I'm going to use my Lucario to challenge the Snorlax real quick and do some damage. And we're going to see exactly what does this Snorlax drop. Strong style Lucario going in for that close combat. Easy one shot kill on that Snorlax. And let's see what it drops. Drops experience candy medium. We got a level 60 Alakazam over here. So I'm just going to go ahead. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. He just, he just dashed. Four. I'm going to go ahead and catch that. It should be easy. All right. And now I'm going to release this level 60 Alakazam to see what it exactly gives us. Absolutely gone. Take care. Farewell. And it says left a little something for us. And we got a Grit Rock. And Grit Rocks, again, are the highest tier item. So from level 9 to level 10. So it seems that higher level Pokemon or Pokemon in their third stage evolution, as well as alpha Pokemon have more of a chance of dropping the higher tier items versus just single stage Pokemon, two stage Pokemon, and low level Pokemon, which who tend to drop the lower tier grit items, which isn't bad because you need a lot of lower grit tier items. So I'm going to use these grit pebbles on a Lucario and see what we can do to raise it up. So if we look at what it has so far, its HP is level nine, its attack is level seven, and its speed is level six. If I was to use my grit pebbles on the attack, there you go. Now it's level eight. Hit it again. Now it's level nine. Pretty cool. And then if we go down to speed, I'm going to upgrade that as well. I'm level six. That goes to level seven. That goes to level eight. And that also goes to level nine. So then I can take my final one, which is the grit rocks. And we can use that on Lucario here to get the HP to 10. Then we can get the attack to level 10. That's, that's a hard hitting Lucario and get its speed to level 10. And as you can see, we still have defense and special defense to go through. And as you can see, the game made it pretty simple that if you hover over the right grit item, it tells you if it's compatible or not with your Pokemon. So it's not too hard to guess. So I can go ahead and get my special defense up to level five and then get that to level six. And there you go. Now the special defense is at level six. I can bring this also up. And now there's no more need for me to use the second tier item, right? Now I can use this on my Lucario again. Bring that defense up to level seven, eight, and now it's up all the way. And then I can finally use the last one to bring it all the way up to number 10. So you can see how essentially it's very easy. And now this Lucario is going to deal more damage because of it. But we also have other ways of acquiring these higher tier items if you're not really alpha ready to fight these Pokemon. So I'm going to go ahead and show you another method on how you can get the higher tier items if you're not ready for alpha Pokemon, but you want to get your Pokemon's effort levels a lot higher. When you go into town, you can quickly teleport over to the training grounds. Once you're at the training grounds, go ahead and talk to Zisu. Then you're going to select the third option that says, I want to exchange items. Click on that. And then you can see that there's Grit Gravel, Grit Pebble, or Grit Rock. Now you know that Grit Gravel basically gets you up to level six. This gets you from level 6 to level 9, and Grit Rock gets you from level 9 to level 10. Now, if you caught a lot of Pokemon in the game and just keep releasing them to get the lower tier item, you can go with the Grit Gravel Exchange. So if you read that, it says, I can swap you one sack of Grit Gravel for 10 sacks of Grit Dust. And as you saw, by selling a lot of easy Pokemon to catch, you can get one Grit Gravel, and that's really easy in order to level up your Pokemon. So you really just have to catch about 30 Pokemon in the game 
in order to exchange this to get your Grit Dust. Not actually too hard if you spam easy Pokemon. The reason why I mentioned 30 is that you need to go from level 3 to 4, 4 to 5, and then 5 to 6. After that, you can no longer use any Grit Gravel, and you would have to move on to the next tier. They have large exchanges as well, if you're interested, and they have smaller exchanges, depending on how much you have. Now, if you go for a Grit Pebble, you're going to need 10 sacks of Grit Gravel, to advance you need to go from level six to seven seven to eight and then eight to nine so you're also going to need 30 sacks of grit gravel which essentially is going to be quite a bit if you start adding up and doing the math and the final exchange is for the grit rock which gets you from level nine to ten and you're going to need 10 grit pebbles in order to do this and you can start seeing how it accumulates up so you can also do mass exchanges which she'll offer you if you have a bunch of that item but my suggestion is Catch a bunch of baby Pokemon, get all the stats up to level three, and do the next level ups. If you start getting rid of a lot of Pokemon in your pastures that are just sitting there, not organized, that is a great way to start collecting these grit items, and you can bring that level from level three to level six. Then the next item is the Grit Pebbles and the Grit Rocks, and you can catch alpha Pokemon nonstop and make it really easy or defeat them in battle in order to get the other drops. So fighting Pokemon's great, releasing them from pastures is great, Catching Alpha Pokemon and releasing them as well as defeating Alpha Pokemon. These are great ways to get your grit. And someone fact checked this, but I think you can also get some of these drops during trainer battles. But you're going to have to double check me on that one. And now look at Lucario. Look at its stats. It's all 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 all around. So Lucario's stats is maxed out. Only problem is it has a gentle nature, but we can make it perfect by making it either a physical attacker or a special attacker with something called a mint. But I'm going to have a whole nother video discussing that. So stay tuned for that video. Congratulations. You are now pros at effort level training in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I hope this guide serves you well and you now know what to do with all those extra leftover Pokemon that are just hanging out in your inventory. Also, now you know that all those duplicate alpha Pokemon you have, you can put them to good use by using it to level up your favorite Pokemon. By the way, I suggest using all these grits on Pokemon that you love. So if you get a shiny Pokemon that you want to make super OP, this would be great. And shiny hunting is absolutely broken in this game as well. So go ahead and cop yourself a shiny. Check out that video over here. Thank you very much again, everyone, for watching and supporting the channel. Subscribing helps a lot. And I hope you enjoyed the new color scheme background we got going here. My name is Philly Beats You, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, be safe, and don't die to any Pokemon in Legends Arceus. Goodbye.